Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Film Optics Review brought to you by the Drive-In Podcast Network. I'm your host, Christian, and I'm joined by my two friends, uh, two friends of the pod, excuse me. We have Leo from Geekly Goods. How are you doing today, man? Hey, what's going on, man? I'm great. Just secured a PS5, so I'm riding on high, my man. Welcome to the future, man. <laughs> welcome Finally to the here in modern century. times. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Leo has been fighting for for all you listeners out there. Leo has been fighting like tooth and nail to get a PlayStation Five. Like every single time, like they drop one, he yep. has been there, and it's like he finally got one. So like, don't lose hope and don't you know overpay for scalpers. Yeah, don't just, pay scalpers, Jesus, dude. It's just so yeah. much. It's so so much. But we also have our YouTuber Zach Pope. How are you doing today, man? Man, I'm good. Uh, I got to rewatch this film yesterday after not watching it for probably ten years. Yeah, yeah, over ten years. But Leo, congrats! You get to play PS5 soon. Are you? I'm, sh- I'm assuming Miles Morales is the first game you're gonna play. But what is like the next game? Like, what's that game that you either want to play on it to get the that visual upgrade, that 60 frames per second? What's that next one you want to check? Out? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cave and say Call of Duty. I'm going to have to play a Call of Duty game. Like, why not? Uh, it's been a little while since I played my PS4, so I got to get my feet wet in the, the usual game. So. Okay. So you're going for Cold a cot. War. So you're getting Cold War? Yep. All right. So right on the stack, bro. Just a heads up when you do play it. <laughs> turn off ray tracing for that game, or it'll crash your PS5. It will. What? It will. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So yep. Uh, today, we're going to be reviewing... Princess Mononoke, one of our favorite Studio Ghibli films. But before we get into today's uh, today's review, I'm sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. Literally just got off work. We'll be back right after this. I'm a vengeance. Oh, it is, man. A leap of faith. Truth is, I am Iron Man. I love the sound of a violin. So, it literally so turns much. me on. Crispy. Crispy. <laughs> like, like, I don't know if you guys have all seen the new Borat film, but like, I feel like oh, I I'm getting that. very hard love right it. now. Like very hard. Like just that violin sound. Like, <laughs> that, that's how I feel, man. Very oh, nice. <laughs> very nice. God, I love Borat so much. That, that second movie killed me. I could not believe <laughs> the crap that happened. <laughs> yeah. like, wow. The the ending alone. I think the ending alone made me shit my pants. Yeah, that's bravery on a whole new level. Like Seriously, y'all went there. Though. Yeah. Seriously. Not me. I mean I mean I, I have a price, but it's pretty high. I'm not gonna lie. But oof. Not me. Absolutely not. But uh before we begin today's review of Princess Mononoke, you can listen to our podcast on platforms around the internet and make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Film Optics. That is Optics with an X for all of our latest announcements. So, guys, let's uh, let's just dive on in. You know, this this has been out since nineteen uh, ninety seven. So, you know, we're, we are just going to get into spoilers for anyone listening. If you haven't, I'm sorry, but it's just it's it's time to turn back. Just <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely, like you know, we'll we'll give our we're just going to talk about it. You know, we're, we're just going to gush over it because, you know, we, we both, we all love studio Ghibli films. And if you haven't, I think, you know, if you're looking to get into like the anime space, um, it's, I think it's a really nice place to start to be completely honest that and attack on Titan because wow. <laughs> I need to catch up on it. I do too. I, I, I do too. I bailed out after C I bailed out after season uh, two. I think I, I did like, too, yeah. but like, I loved it. And I just, I was trying to keep up with it, and then they took too long. They took they straight up took too long for the show to like that first season was fire, and then what? Two years later, we finally got season two, Mm -hmm. or even much later than that. And then now they're like they're four now. They're on four. Yeah. See, I thought they were on three. I'm struggling. (laughs) And I think I think four is it. I think this is the last season. But um, dude, this came out. This movie we're talking about today came out the year I was born. Oh, did it? Okay. Oh, 1997. Yeah, I, I saw people kind of putting on Twitter, you know, listing like four celebrities the year that they were born. 
So uh, does anyone have uh, any celebrities they want to shout out really quick? Yeah, I was like, dude, I was seeing some of those. I was like, dang, y'all making me feel, oh, come on now. Some of them 96 babies was like sharing some of theirs in 97, Zach. I was like, dang, I'm old, bro. Guys, I got some great ones. Let me tell you. All right. Who you got? I got fucking Kylie Jenner. I got fucking Jake Paul. I got fucking Bella Porsche. I got fucking KJ Appa. I got (laughs) Becky G. You know, I Kodak she disappeared, Black. bro. She did. Yeah, I got Lil Yachty. Um, I mean, this is just a shitty fest of people. <laughs> oh, well, oh, I got wait, some, wait, I wait, got wait. some I good ones. One. I found a good one. Who you I got? A good one. Chloe Grace Moretz. Okay. Okay. Nice. So, I'll nice. take that. Got a good one on the on the list. Leo, what Let's see. You? I got uh, Chance the Rapper. Nice. Hell yeah. Um, Ariana Grande. Ooh. Kiki Palmer. Hell yeah. Victoria Justice. Hell yeah. A lot of Zayn Malik. I don't know if he's too popular. Wasn't he in One Direction? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. It says friend. there's 93 people on this list, yeah. y'all. So that's, that's the ones I'm going to go with for right now. Yeah. Oh, Naomi Scott. Oh, she's yeah, yeah. not in enough stuff. She's not, not nearly she in enough. Not. She is. Not. What was the last day she was in? She was in that uh, uh, reboot of what's Charlie's Angels, Charlie's Angels. which was really good. Oh, and she was in uh, um, the Aladdin movie, I think. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was Jasmine and Power Rangers. Oh, oh my God, the Pink see, Ranger, bro. I've seen that. Still, I wish they would have got a sequel. Still. Christian, dude, I'm just that now movie, watching Daredevil, dude. <laughs> that movie, dude, you're fucking insane. I, Daredevil, dude I, know, dude. I want you to know, the night Daredevil came out, I was stayed up till I was this excited. I stayed up till midnight. I sat down. And I watched that whole fucking thing in one sitting. Oh, I love it. I, I, that actually used to be my tradition. Uh, that was my tradition. I did that with that. Jessica Jones. I did it with Daredevil season I've two. Seen Jessica Jones, yeah. Then uh, Luke Cage come out, and I, uh, I, mm, I did five mm, episodes mm, in, and I was like, not. F- I, I still finished the first season, but I definitely didn't binge it. Iron Fist. <laughs> I took a vacation that week, so I didn't. <laughs> no. I don't blame um, you. Which I like. No, no, no. I like Iron Fist, though. I like the first. I actually like the two seasons. Okay, I, okay. I, I don't think they're garbage. Okay, yeah. so, flat out, though, you know what is garbage? Defenders. Is it real? Oh, okay, you know what, though? I, you know what, though? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defend Defenders. They have some damn good hallway <laughs> fights. There's good fight scenes, but the story is terrible. So, my friend is, told me. Iron Fist, though? I don't know. I, oh. I, I got I to gotta bury Iron Fist. That uh, story my, was. The problem with the Defenders <laughs> is there's two. There's They either had. They take three episodes to get together, and then it's like two episodes more of like them fucking bickering. <laughs> And then they finally fuck around, and then it's done. You literally just explain the formula it. for all of them, though. Like that's yeah. literally how each season yeah. goes. After Daredevil season two, they're all just like, "Wow, let's take five or six episodes to actually get something going," and then we get into the meat of the yeah. season in like six to but eight, and then the rest is bullcrap. Yeah. <laughs> flat out, though, Daredevil season three is the best. season. So I haven't of, seen period. season three yet. So I'm on the. I have the season finale of season two to finish. My friend told me to actually watch Defenders before yeah, Daredevil yeah. season three because yeah, you, have to. you have to. You have it to. connects. Oh, shit. Anyway, yeah. my four Which, celebrities. Honestly, are... <laughs> Christian, I'll tell you this. I, I'll tell you this. Defenders ain't like garbage. Like I, I'm over exaggerating. I gave it like a C plus when okay, it came out. I probably enough. still stick by that. Like Iron Fist one is definitely the worst of them all. Besides, uh, Jessica Jones season two is pretty crappy too. But both so of okay season, season two. Season two, yeah. <laughs> pretty much Jessica Jones season one and one is incredible. Three is. Eh. Yeah. It's better than two. Um, Luke Cage season two, garbage. Luke Cage season one, decent. Iron Fist season two, actually really freaking good. Like, it's actually really freaking good. It's I do want to get into Iron Fist. Like, yeah, I feel like I, this dude, I really... do not advise, man. But hey, you know what? <laughs> Dive in at your own leisure. Punisher, Punisher season one and two, though. Chef's Kiss. Oh, fucking yeah. loved it. I, I, I'm in the camp. Do not cancel that character out. Bring him in and just have him kill a bunch of KKK members, please. That would be awesome. Man. I'm totally in the camp, though, that, like, I actually liked him better in Daredevil Season 2 than I did in his own series. Uh, really? But I okay. did like the seasons. I didn't dislike them. I just liked him with Daredevil and a part of another yeah. character story. I kind of, I'm kind. i hoping they bring him back in Deadpool and throw him into, like, the rated oh, R yeah. stuff that they might be doing or coming Blade. up. I think, Blade. Blade. I think Blade's oh gonna be God. rated R. That'd be amazing. Especially since Deadpool's it has official. To be. It has to be. Yeah. Yeah. 
So anyway, before we get into the review really quick, I'll lay him off my Sorry. Oh, no, no. You guys are good. Like, this this okay. is honestly, like, you know, like, we have great conversation. That's, yeah. that's what it's all about. Uh, four celebrities that were born the same year as me. Uh, Daisy Ridley. Uh, John Boyega. Nick Jonas. Right. Selena Gomez. Jeanette McCurdy. Ooh. Ooh. And, um, my God, Demi Lovato. Oh, 92, oh, baby. My there you go. There <laughs> you go. I was like, I, I knew, I knew Daisy really because I fell in love with her literally day one when I saw her in Force Awakens. I was like, how old is this woman? And I'm like, oh my gosh, she's my age. <laughs> yeah, there you yeah. go. But yeah, that, that was, I thought that was pretty cool. Like, I saw it going around. I think I retweeted from uh, Leo. So I was like, that's actually a pretty cool, you know. It, it's just crazy that, like, you know, yeah, like celebrities are actually the same age as us. Like, it yeah. happens. <laughs> But like you, you think they're just some random unknown age, and you know they they're just they've been around forever. But, you always think they're younger than you or yeah. older than you. You yeah. never really think exact same age, especially because yeah. a lot of them in our age group typically have baby faces at this point. Pretty much. Yeah. So it's like Zendaya, hard to pinpoint like who. She's like twenty four. Yeah. yeah. I was like, like what? what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I didn't know. Honestly, didn't know how old she was. Never would have mm-hmm. guessed. But. What? Let's talk about some Princess Mononoke. Thank you. Yeah. So I guess I'll start like, you know, for like on your guys' rewatch, have you guys learned to appreciate a little bit more or just, you know, falling in love with it all over again? I guess I'll start with Zach because he said it's it's been some years for him. I actually yeah, rewatched same it. Same here. Really? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's been about Ooh, it's been a good 10 at least. Okay. I watch them at, at least, least yearly, or, or at least my Do favorite you? ones. Yeah. See, and okay, that's nice. crazy. Studio Ghibli films, I don't have... It's funny. I, like, love most of them. Mm. I love Spirited Away. I love... But, like, for me, when I sit down and watch one of their films, I, I it feels like an event for me. So, like, it's, yeah. this is... Mm. I kind of equivalent to, like, Lord of the Rings and Star Wars for me, too. It feels like an event. Mm. So, mm-hmm. like, I want to make sure that I can dedicate, like... <clears throat> that time where i don't have to play on my phone i don't have to do some shit around it i don't have to do anything like that like when i had to quarantine a couple weeks back because my family got covid i i I was the only one that didn't have it so i'd sit in my fucking room for two hours (laughs) or not two hours the whole damn day and what did i do i did a lord of the rings marathon you know almost at the hobbit decided not to do the hobbit because i do (laughs) i've never finished battle the five army so maybe one day i will Mm. Uh, but (laughs) not missing much i was having a movie marathon dude before sundance and you know spirited away i put it i also watched it while i was in the quarantine and the same thing it just it feels like a damn event when you watch some of these films i even tried to make erwig a fucking event Uh, oh my god that didn't work (laughs) yeah but this film man like you you sit down and, you know, in a sense, even though it's been so long, everything just felt new to me because mm-hmm. it had been so fucking long. And, like, as I'm mm-hmm. watching it, I'm like, okay, I remember this part. I remember this part. But the thing that always completely stuns me is how this film looks like it was made yesterday. For real, yeah, man. Seriously. It is yeah. superb. And I get that's a lot of up-touching and bringing it into modern day. Like, if you watch, like, Dragon Ball on DVD to compared to Dragon Ball on Blu-ray, there's a specific difference. <laughs> like, there you can clearly tell the difference. <laughs> but, you know, and I stream this on HBO Max. I have the Blu-ray like, right behind me, but... Yeah. I, I wanted to see the streaming because, you know, I wanted to see, like, how does it look? And it looks stunning. Crisp. Um, but the thing that really comes away from me in here, and this is the same thing with every single Studio Ghibli film, is that while they all distinctively feel the same style, they all feel like they are in a different world. Mm-hmm. Every single one of them. And every single one of them, eh, majority of them, the mythology is completely different it's completely unique to itself. Like those little forest people in this one that are like oh, creepy yeah. and like tinkering their heads. I forgot <laughs> completely about them and I love them. <laughs> but also the curse in here, really unique, rapid, Very. something that we haven't seen before. And well, you know, 1997, I'm sure we've seen other things like that now, but yeah. it's just like the aesthetic of this movie is beautiful. And I think that's with almost every single Studio Ghibli film, it feels like an event. Ponyo, Wind Rises, st- mm-hmm. Studio of this one, Spirited I seen Away. Wind Rises yet. Or oh, Rises excellent Fire. movie. So good, dude. <laughs> but that's my thing is that like these feel like events. And mm-hmm. you know, when Hayao Miyazaki's next film comes out, it's going to be an event. 
for better or for worse, no matter what or how good it is, I, I imagine it's going to be great because every film he's done is at least good. Um, <laughs> at the earwig, I'm just like, Ugh. he Let's didn't keep do the train rolling here. His yeah, he did. didn't do earwig, so Thank God. it wasn't yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I definitely fell more in love with it. Okay. Every Leo, what, what about you? Oh, my gosh. So flashback to Leo in childhood. I went to a um, day camp that had mostly ladies. So whenever we would vote on what to watch, it would typically be either Card Captor Sakura or like something like Bratz or something like that. <laughs> One day, Princess Mononoke fell into the ro- rotation and we all watched that movie. And oh my God, I have been in love with that movie ever since. It's been a while since I watched it, but man, giving it a nice, fresh revisit. Mm-hmm. Zach, you explaining the look really brought me back because, man, it's just visually stunning. It wraps you into its world as soon as you hit play, my guys. Like, it is just so colorful and lush, and it's got its own very distinct world. You know, going off of that, it's like Kiki's Delivery Service and Castle in the Sky and every single Studio G film really gets you wrapped up into it every single time. It's got a fantastic story that's not too complicated to understand i mean this is a studio g kids like this is like for their kids audience which kind of kind of surprised me i mean i guess that proves that it's been so long since i watched it because i thought it was like part of their more adult lineup but i mean it just is easy to follow it's easy to digest and the texture of the animation is so cool the curse mark the worms Oh my god, that was a little bit creepy. I'll be honest. When I was younger, I was like, like, "That creeped me out, bro." Like, (laughs) and the 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 boar is Keith David. Holy smoke! I forgot about the entire uh, dubbed cast. Yes, did you guys watch this? Billy Bob uh, Billy Bob Thornton is on there. I mean, there's all kinds of people on that English dub cast. Did you guys watch the English or did you guys? I I watched English dub. That's yeah, yeah. I grew up with it. typically a lot of the films I grew up with. I'll stick with it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Unless I've I... ever watched any of the. Well, some of them I've watched as sub. I think I've only watched a few of them as sub. To be honest, some of the Studio yeah. Ghibli. I don't think I've watched many of them in the. But you all watch of them, them are the pretty sub-up? good. All yeah, of them are pretty like good. The dubs dubs are really though. good. Like there's yeah, the dubs are strong. Yeah, like there's very few animes out there that have really good dubs. Like Dragon Ball Z is one that's really good. Oh um, my god, I cannot watch the sub of Dragon Alchemist Ball Z. As well. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot watch the Dragon Ball Z sub. It is just I, it grows on you. I love really? Goku's voice. I used uh, to hate see, it. I can't do I it, man. It. I used to hate I it. I can't. I used to hate it. I'm like, you know what? It fits. It because I watched it's like, like all the Dragon Ball Super. and high high pitch. Like, I'm like I can't yeah. do it, man. <laughs> it's it's weird, but like it's it's just something I grew accustomed to, and I was like, because the more that I watched Dragon Ball Super, you know, I've been watching one two three movies or whatever. You know, shout out to one two three movies. <laughs> when, it, when it started dropping, I was like, I don't have time to be waiting around for the dubs. And it just I don't grew on you. me. It grew on That's me. That's how I am with Naruto, man. Oh, yeah. I, I went through that sub the, for the first the, time. But the dubs are terrible. It's the, the yeah. beginning Ugh. when he's just like, believe it, believe it, believe it. It's that like, was so <laughs> bad. And I'm just like, why did you have to do that? They su- they That was their substitute for when he says, in, yeah. in Japanese. And yeah. I'm just like, why? But, well, no. I, no. Yeah. <laughs> and if you can't always watch sub, I mean, I, I'm always going to go dubbed. Uh, yeah, honestly, when it comes to usually yeah, I do too. Because it's a great studio. It's just certain animes, they definitely are like, hey, we don't give a fuck what you want to watch. <laughs> I'm glad but Studio didn't watch G, Earwig they'd be on track. English because that yeah. was. Ooh, Ooh, that was a nightmare, guys. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you. And, and it has some really great people on there. Yeah. But then it was just the dubbing was horrible. So mm. there was no way I could make it through that movie again on sub or anything Absolutely else. Absolutely not. The dubbing all off. But going back to Mononoke. Man, what an just what an incredible movie, top to bottom. But I gotta I gotta call something out. Oh no! <laughs> so Ashitaka goes through this full journey. I mean, my man, he got everybody riled up on the right side he because was like, it was forest versus people for a long time in this movie, and he finally riles everybody and gets everybody kumbaya in the right area. Freaking Mononoke doesn't go with him. Oh no, I'm I just know. going back to the towards the I'm end. Cool. That's the only like, thing. What? The only thing. Because like you know, he's over here playing you know Avatar. You know, keeping <laughs> keeping trying to keep the peace. 
And like, you know, he kind of shows a little bit of affection, uh, affection towards yeah. uh, Shen. Shen? Oh my gosh. I'm like. Shao? San? San. 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 San de. Yeah. I um, literally just watched it before this. No, but... it's, it's fine. It's just like, you know, he, um, you know, he. Yeah, he there's, of... there's, some, there's some romance there. Yeah. A little like, bit. Like, they're definitely like, because he rolls over and go, when, when she. When she like rescues him after he gets shot by the village, he rolls over and says, "You're so beautiful." Mm. I'm like, "Okay, I believe that this is a, a couple yeah. here." Yeah. And then they get to the end. My man fulfills <laughs> his destiny, and she goes, "I, sorry, I got to hit you back to the force." Right. Like she said, "BT does." Uh, I can't <laughs> forgive them. So, bye. <laughs> I mean, the wolves seem to be able to get past it. Like, I felt yeah. like the forest spirit, they get, everybody gave the head back. Like, I felt like they were all on the same page at the end there. Yep. She couldn't just, they couldn't just live in the village with all of them. Like, the wolves can come too. <laughs> why why yep. couldn't they just all live in the village? That was probably my only problem with the movie was my man Ashitaka went all the way and still didn't get the lady. What the hell? He was like, oh, that's fine. I'll just live in the village. I'll just I'll come, come visit, visit you. <laughs> I'll just come visit you whenever I want. And it's like, okay. And then like, it just ends. It's like, what? But I feel like a few Studio G films are like that, specifically like Ponyo. Like, I mean, it kind of like, some of them just like end. But I mean, some (laughs) of them have a little bit better, you know, wrapping up the story. Like my neighbor, Tortoro, um, I think has a little bit better of a story. Same thing. And Whisper um, of the Heart. That has a beautiful ending. Oh, speaking of Whisper, this has a wonderful score. It does. I mean, just Mm -hmm. brilliant. Whenever they step into the forest, they get a little. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. is, I I think, honestly, this is probably still their most epic film. Yeah. On, like, that scale. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know another film that they have where, like, I guess um, Nasaki is pretty good on its scale and its world building. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nausicaa, yeah. the Valley of the Nausicaa. Wind. It's... Uh, and Castle in the Sky is uh, pretty strong I in there, but I think the story... The story I was hoping Castle, Castle is kind of... Oh, kind of goes yeah. there. It, yeah, it kind of does, but, like, on the bigger grand... Like, this is, like, a huge battlefield. With, you know, right. you have the samurai, you have the Iron Town, yeah. you have... Well, the um, first time that and... Son shows up to the town and she's just running across the rooftops, oh, oh, so it's so good. intense, dude. <laughs> it's so intense. I'm just sitting there. Like, do you guys ever watch a movie and you're just like, I fucking love this movie? Yeah. God, I yeah. fucking love this. Yeah. Jesus Christ, like I love this movie. She was just like, I was like, what? Yeah. Right? And she pulls a little knife out and just starts high key combating these dudes. Son would fuck me up. I mean, like, that's some horror element shit. Her running across the rooftops like this. Naruto um, running all, all across. I'm like, my dude, God. but this movie's like, it, it's just one that it sticks with you. Mm. And I think when it comes to Miyazaki, I, I'm, I'm honestly, was this not, did they have best anime peach, uh, feature yet or no? Cause this would have won. I, I don't think they had the I category yet. I don't think so. I'll look it up. I don't think so. Cause I know spirited away was the only, I think it's the only and the first anime film to win best animated feature. Yep. I thought there was another, <laughs> wasn't one. there one more anime film recently that won? I thought I, I thought there was another studio. 2001 2001 by the way when it started. Okay, so yeah, that okay, was before. Away. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that that makes sense. But yeah, th- this film is just like I mean, in the the food. Do you guys they... want me to read the winners? Yeah, yeah the yeah. Oscars. So, 2001 it was Shrek, 2002 is Spirited Away, 2003 was Finding Nemo, 4 was Incredibles, 5 was Wallace and Gromit. It beat Howl's Moving Castle, which Okay. I love Walt Wallace and Gromit. And Gromit. I love Claymation. Uh, 2006, Happy Feet. 2007, Ratatouille. 2008, Wally. 2009 was Up, and it beat out. Um, oh, no anime that year. 2010, Toy Story 3. 2011, Rango beat out. Uh, oh, that's not anime. Okay. Uh, 2012, Brave beat out a bunch of shit it shouldn't have. 2013, Frozen 1, and it beat out The Wind Rises. Um, oh, 2014. That's what I thought. Yeah, 2014, Big Hero 6, Tail Princess uh, Kai, Kaguya? Kaguya? No, that, that one about to win. <laughs> uh, Song of the Sea as well. Beat oh, both Song of those sea, out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when Marnie was there, it was beat out by Inside Out, which, okay, I get that. But yeah. when Marnie was there, it was fucking amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Red Turtle lost to Zootopia. Um and that's it. The yeah, 
It seems like oh, Mirai. Mirai was nominated in 2018, Spider Verse one, which that was a pretty good one too. Yeah, but Spider Verse, that's not one beating that. Yeah, I uh, remember that year. If Spider Verse didn't win, I was gonna flip the fuck out. Oh, because we all would have, man. I don't know if you guys were the same. I still wasn't impressed by that trailer. I thought the animation looked cool, but I wasn't impressed yet. Yeah, and, I felt the same uh, way. I was, I was one of the first people to go into a screening for it for awards. And I was the only critic that showed up. It was just me and my friend. No other critic showed up to that screener. Dude, and I sat damn. there and I'm like, this is the fucking next level. It and so when it amazing. ended, dude, I texted like our whole like uh, critics group. I said, you guys missed out. You guys have to see this film. And then they all went to the second one. And I'll, holy shit, this movie's fucking amazing. Yeah, I fucking said it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it was Sony and Spider Man. I was like, oh. Yeah, coming off of what was the last? What the was the last? Spider-Man. Like, the Amazing Spider Man. Yeah, that was, yeah. That's all I was like, that was the last I don't one they made. Y'all. No, I I, it's Homecoming. Homecoming. Oh, well, 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 it was MCU, yeah, so was I kind of was like, yeah. okay, Marvel yeah. handle handle Homecoming. Yeah. So, but so like I was looking at Sony Spidey only. Sony movie. Yeah, I was thinking of the Amazing Spider-Man two and Spider-Man three, and I was like, they done messed up so many times. <laughs> I just don't know. Wow, what a win that was, it y'all. Was. I mean, it was for animation as a whole, and then for Spider-Man stories. Just what a gripping tale that definitely didn't see going in. I thought that that was gonna be pretty bad. Yeah. I'll, I'll admit like but the the animation at least looked cool in the in the trailer but it's just it was so hard to trust sony at the time they it just was. got back in the good graces with that it really was because it's like you know disney had to come in you know play sony and disney had to play nice with uh homecoming and between yeah. homecoming spider-verse i think and and um spider-man ps4 that really kind of just relaunched like spider-man into that but yeah yep Yo, watching this, watching Mononoke totally reminded me of where they got Sasuke's curse mark from. Because yes. I'm like, dude, yeah. this that definitely amazing, feels though. like yeah. the curse mark that Sasuke had in his really neck and it spreads life. around. I'm like, okay, so he's free that's where this came now, from. Is he? Or is he? Yeah. Yeah, he was. Okay. That's what I thought. I was like, it kind of looked a little faded. I'm like, <laughs> is this like a reset? Because that really sucks. Could you imagine? He, <laughs> you could you imagine San didn't go back to the village with him, and he still got the curse mark, like right. the forest it's spirits. Like he can't like, go back home. No, he had to man. cut off his hair, and it's just like, all right, bye. And it's like, well, our clan's already dwindling, and he's like, <laughs> I've been, you know, I've prepared for this moment. The the moment I let my uh, arrow fly, I was like, oh. Like Yo, <laughs> Lady Eboshi is a savage. She was. Yep. Like, wow. Literally. That lady like... was not stopping for nothing. Like, nope, I'm going to rule the forest. I'm going to make this. Like, I, uh, I, I, I suppose it was her going to industrialize the forest and probably expand so. the village. Yeah. Because I didn't really understand why she was doing all that. And maybe it's because I was watching it while working a little bit, but I was kind of like, yeah. what is her motive here? Is it to expand? Is it to industrialize this area? But why was she like causing all that ruckus? Like, I think what was, was that all just, about? Like what I've noticed with studio G films, it's a lot of them are like environmentalists. Like, yeah, it's always totally. like, like with Nausicaa, you know, Mononoke, um, mm-hmm. uh, Ponyo, even, like a lot even of even a little just, castle in the sky. Yeah, I see. I see, I gotta watch that one. I, I have it. I bought the Blu-ray. I literally just haven't. bought It's good, Blu-ray. man. And it's I gotta watch Grave of the Fireflies. Oh so. Jesus Christ! Good luck with that. <laughs> Be ready for that. Oh man. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've I've noticed a lot of them are you know environmental s you know saving the environment when it comes to that, and a lot of his characters are female as well. So like, with there's some of the strongest female animated characters. Yeah. Ever. Yo, I mean, in this movie, the whole village was like carrying villagers out, and it was all ladies. I'm like, dude, they're huffing it, bro. Seriously, this kind yeah, of the fucking of ugly ass fat coal miner, dude. This, like, okay, and that's something I'd recognize. This very much feels like a video game. Yeah. This movie feels like a, yeah. a RPG. Even the mm-hmm. animation. This reminds me of a Zelda game. Ashitaka's um, running around like, totally. fr- like, like, like Link. Link. Yeah, yeah, and. Very much so, even a lot of the supporting characters are kind of the same, like that fat coal miner who's carrying the head yeah. at the end. And, yep. like, just, and there's subtle details that, like, just they put into the animation that's just absolutely wonderful. And I think for me, like, that's what makes this film perfect. I, like, I literally think the definition of Princess Mononoke is a masterpiece. Like, this yeah. film is perfect. 
It's Miyazaki's probably, I want to say it's his second best directed film. I still think Spirited Away is the best. I think a lot of people, say, a lot of people do say that, well, especially this, Spirited Away. Yeah. Yeah. This is my favorite one though. I yeah. think this is his. And I don't blame you. This is, this is my Castle. second, this is my second favorite one. Yeah. Um, I need to watch Howl's again. Cause I might move, but I think for a film that's from 1997, oh. I mean, it still holds up to today. It's inspirational. You can totally tell where a lot of RPGs, where a lot of fantasy films, TV shows, anime, or just in general video games get their inspiration from. It's yeah. all from this movie. Mm-hmm. This movie is just perfect. And it's one that I think sticks with everyone the more than more and more and you watch it. And it, like, it's part fantasy, part horror. Because also yeah. something we haven't talked about, the boar people, when they yeah. skin the boars and walk, walk around in their suits, that was that's creepy. creepy. Yeah, yeah, it really and I was. forgot about that. I forgot yeah. about that. Um, Even the blind but, boar, when he like when he finds like, oh, he's like my uh, my warriors have come back to me from the dead, and oh my god, and he's just like <laughs> kind of going crazy yeah, and seeing like, at that uh, point. I no. was like, I am. <laughs> like it was creepy too, and like when the worms start coming out of him, he becomes a demon and just and starts marching through, through it for son. That yeah, was so like uh, it, 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 the thing about this movie <laughs> is it starts. And never stops. Yeah. Like from the opening scene alone to that first act to the second to the third, there's consistently something going. And mm-hmm. that's something that, again, I think majority of the Studio Ghibli films consistently have. Some have better stories than others. Like mm-hmm. I said, Castle in the Sky, my biggest issue with that is I think the story is a little bit lacking when it comes to characters. But it literally is like Indiana Jones starts <laughs> and fucking and goes. Stops. <laughs> um, you know, Erwig and the Witch starts, hit the ground. And grind it all the way till the very end. Seriously, oh my! God. Spirited away, watching that was a grind. Goes. <laughs> Princess Mononoke starts and goes. Every a lot of their films like this, you know, it's action packed. It's an adventure, and it's one hell of a movie with a brilliant, brilliant main characters. Hey, yeah, great message too. When it comes to yeah, you know, it's you know, it, when it comes back to like the environmental thing, like right now, it's like snowing like crazy outside and it's like it's it's man versus nature and you know a lot of when it comes to like industrialization and like where where does where do humans stop to where you know right you know where the the creatures of the forest can still have their space because you know we i mean we do i mean we literally you know build like apartments and skyscrapers literally will tear down there yeah. there used to be like a, a huge um forest kind of area behind uh it, there was uh the house right across from me when i grew up grew up they had this huge huge forest area and like i came back this year um for christmas and it's it's literally just all torn down you can see straight through and they started okay. building another um development and it's like you know where where do we draw the line where it's like okay you know we do have our space this is enough for us you know, we still need to let nature take its course. And mm-hmm. that's, they were literally trying to do like the opposite, trying to kill, you know, the spirit of the forest, chopping off his head. I was like, wow. It's the greed, man. Yeah. It's the greed. It's they want the all greed. the land so they can make factories and do all the shit that they want. I mean, it's, they want to make money. Remember, that's what that yeah. fat bitch said in here. <laughs> I want money. <laughs> So. Man, this film is it, it really does speak volumes and i just i i love just just the animation it's just like damn that just it's gorgeous it's like somebody like made that and it's like you don't really see that a lot today like i understand a lot of animation today is more cgi but if you guys have seen wolf walkers oh my gosh i still love got it. it i love it's hand drawn it even with uh between wolf walkers and um klaus on netflix that's all hand drawn as well and it's like i just really appreciate like the time and the the effort the energy and just the the um the results that you know they were able to bring out it's just there's nothing like it there's literally nothing like it i mean cgi that that can can impress us for days like we've seen that in like endgame infinity war especially with thanos it's like he looked so freaking real but it's like i don't know man hand-drawn animation for me is just so much better yeah. oh yeah it, it tops is. and it has i mean the the ability that hand-drawn animation has that 3d 
sometimes doesn't is that it feels timeless. Yeah. Go back yeah. and watch Robots. That feels like early 2000s. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't feel you go timeless. Go back and watch Shrek. You're, you're definitely going to see it age. Or even, right. even um, Toy Story. Brave. The first Toy, Toy Story. Story. Yeah. First Toy Story film. Especially oh, man, the first I love Toy Story. Toy Story. <laughs> poor, poor, poor first Toy Story. It's like you but need a remaster. You know what, <laughs> but that also goes to stories and stuff like that. And I, I don't want to ever see a remaster for an animated film. I, I That worries the shit out of me if they ever touch that stuff. They've like, I mean, they kind of did with like The Lion King. like, But it's like, it's like, oh, buy it in 4K. And it's like, but it already looks good. Like, yeah. But I was a stupid idiot who bought it anyway. <laughs> I bought the original, not the. Hey, how mad would you be other. if you buy all the Studio Ghibli uh, steelbooks? And then they say, hey, we're going to release the 4Ks. I would be so mad. I mean, <laughs> like, do you guys think that's not coming? Like, I kind of. I, I, I think it will. Because it's like, I mean, these have been out on Blu-ray forever. These are just like the Steelbook Blu-rays. But I'm just saying, Studio G, if you kind of want to like throw in a little uh, digital copy, you know, for, you know, on the go usage. I wouldn't yeah. be mad. <laughs> wouldn't be mad at all because they're strict at that shit. Every anime film, dude. Every anime film. I picked up. Uh, I think Heroes Rising for My Hero Academia. Oh my god, so good. I haven't watched it yet. I bought it for like fifteen bucks. I found it at like some Walmart or something like. Was that. it a steel book? No, no. It was just oh, okay. the Blu-ray itself. It's like oh, the Blu-ray and the DVD. I'm like. All right, but like, where's my digital copy though? <laughs> like, Bruh, yeah, I was I was crying in that theater. I had my hands in the air, just like, oh my Season god, my boy, so good. That was good. Dragon Ball uh, Broly. Oh, dude. Oh man. Shit. Oh, I, I have that Super? on Blu-ray as well. Super Broly. Oh yeah, that shit's dope. The, the other Broly movies. I mean, it, even with Dragon Ball, like we can even say with Dragon Ball, it's it, with the original Dragon Ball. Like, yeah, it's all, but like, it it does have that magic, that timeless. Yeah. feel to yeah. it it's like i can go back and watch it at any time but like there's a few other anime watchers out there who won't even touch anything made in that era it's like oh the animation yeah. just bugs me and i'm like well that's well, literally just how animation me. used to be right like come on now but we got demon slayer coming out this yeah, year and my boy. hero academia bro Woo, we stacked dude, up I, dude. Had, I, had a guy, I had a guy at my work he was like yeah demon slayer is gonna be he goes, it got nominated for an Oscar. I'm like, the Oscar nominations haven't come out yet. What the fuck are you talking shortlist about? Shortlist have. But it's about it's it. not even on the shortlist, oh, though. Oh, it's not? Yeah, oh, I was no. like, I don't think Demon Slayer. And that's what I said. I, he goes, oh, well, it's going to be the only film that comes out. I'm like, no, there's Mortal Kombat, Godzilla. I this Demon, is, is that a sh- based off a show? Like, I've heard of it, yeah, but I haven't watched it's it. It's February 26th. The, the show's on Netflix now. Demon oh, Slayer is amazing, bro. I haven't I seen have it. I have to check that out. I'm not going to You lie. like My Hero Academia? Oh, course, yeah, you're going to love some Demon Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and uh, fuck you to whoever was posting out that, um, you know, anime gatekeeping thing. I just, I normally yeah. try not to cuss on here as much, but like, that just bugs me so much. Yeah, it really man. Did. I it's forgot like, who don't... it was, but I'm like, it, it was just like one of the shittiest, like, tweets i've ever I've seen. seen a lot of posts like that too where people are like well if you only like dragon ball z bleach naruto one piece and my hero academia then you're not in the anime it's like no that's that's anime yeah so if that's your stack <laughs> if that's what you yeah. choose you're in the anime yeah. like that's anime plus if you're caught up on one piece you're already more dedicated than most anime fans. Honestly, just saying. yeah, because I haven't made it past <laughs> episode 20 of season one, <laughs> like, at all. I, I just, think I'm at episode, like, 250-something, but, like, man, there's no way I'm going to catch 1,000. No yeah, way! <laughs> there's no, it's, it is, I mean, if, if I tried now, <laughs> I, I would probably get there, but I'm not watching any, anything else for the rest of the year. I would actually fair to say that Princess Mononoke and Dragon Ball Z at the same time is what got me into anime. Like yeah. that's what got me down the rabbit hole. No, like, you know what's funny? This? Dragon, like, Dragon Ball was it. I remember I went over to my friend's house and went, what the fuck are all these posters? <laughs> and, and he showed me it and I'm like, Jesus Christ, this is the best thing ever. I went home, told my dad. My dad said, that's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> And so secretly, I'd go to my room every time on Cartoon Network at 7 o'clock. Tsunami, baby. Tsunami, and sit there, there you go. watch uh, Inuyasha, uh, yep. Satch Bell, yep. Bubba, oh, Bubba, 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 Bubba,
Naruto. It was good. Uh, stuff. Shoot, if you back if you back it up even a couple of years, you had like Gundam, yeah, Tenchi Gundam. Muyo, yeah. all kind of stuff, man. What, oh, yeah. Wolf's Reign was on there. Like, like they, they had so much. When I get kids, this is what they're fucking watching. I absolutely watch that bullshit on Cartoon Network or Seriously. Disney Channel now. It's like, no, no, Speaking no, no, they're of that, watching the good shit. <laughs> Speaking of that, what do y'all think of that Aquaman animation? That looks oh, okay. Awesome. I will say but, one but, thing. But, I'm not gonna defend it. Defend is it R rated? Is it R rated? <laughs> right, That's and James true. Wan is attached. Yeah. That's what so, I'm sitting on. I want to see because I talk shit about that Harley Quinn show, and that show's fucking great. Oh, I love that show. Oh, that show, and I'm not talking about best things on HBO Max. But seriously, seriously I, I I'm not gonna I'm I'm tired. I'm not gonna judge a book by its cover anymore. You know, I've heard stuff about that Mortal Kombat movie that I haven't shared to the public. <laughs> but, oh, uh oh. <laughs> so I know stuff about that film. Um. <laughs> Still, <laughs> regardless, oh god, <laughs> judge a book by its cover. No, Sometimes it surprises you. I'll tell you later. Yeah, no, it, it's totally fine. Yeah, because even even with like, I, I kind of agree with Leo when it came to like anime. Like, I I used to be subscribed to. Well, we had like an after school like library like anime club, and a few of my friends ran it, and I, I would just go and hang out with them, and I would just watch whatever they were watching, and. Um, man, oh man, there was just so much stuff. Uh, I know, dude. That, that like, reminds we, we me of my a lot of Studio Ghibli films, and that's kind of how like how yeah. I got my start. And yeah. I was subscribed to like Shonen Jump, like yep. magazine. Same, same. Like, I, got, I, have, I saw the first episode of Naruto somewhere in my parents' house on like a DVD because it ships with Shonen Jump like before it got released in the U.S. Dude, you could high key sell that shit. Those magazines are probably worth a fuck ton. Oh, I got a little stack back here. It's, it's like uh, it's oh, like it was those. Um, it's like multiple like chapters those... of like shonen anime. Just I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. like manga. Just it was great. Like between that and Game Informer, like my mom was like, "Can we like stop now?" I was like, All right, "Fine, whatever." Man, yeah, I used to get shonen jumps. I used to just walk to the store down down the street from me and just pick them up. Yeah, and uh, I was part of a anime club at my local library and we used to always get some pizza yeah, get together watch yeah. anime it was get great an stuff, angel man. get backers like man we would just blow through them anime seriously dude. man blow it, was it up great it, it was it was a great time and it's like you know like a lot of my friend like a lot of my friends in school didn't weren't like i mean some of them were some of them weren't i had like friends in different like groups of circles but it was just like it was just something i'd like to do and they're like you're going to the library i'm like yeah it was like i think tuesdays or something like that was like anime after like anime club after school i'm like yeah and we had like a great like supervisor too like he would come and watch it with us he's a little bit of a lonely guy but you know he yeah show, show him some love i forgot his name but he was like yeah. one of the nicest people ever i probably ever met in my life but um, do you guys want to get into scores for our Princess Mononoke? Yeah, uh, nine what, out of ten, how, bro. Right oh, off the top, okay. I'm going nine <laughs> out of ten. This is excellent. This is Studio Ghibli's best. It has an amazing score. Even the English dub cast is great. I actually haven't watched it in sub, so I might go back and really? do that. Oh, you see, but I, I'm sure I do the want sub to do is amazing. Point, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure the sub is amazing. I mean, it's just all around a fantastic movie that has a great message that still transcends its 1997 release date. It's just top to bottom flawless, in my opinion. The only thing I have about Princess Mononoke is that ending. I'm like, they kind of messed up. (laughs) They kind of messed over Ashitaka a little bit. But other than that, I think this is a fantastic movie. And Ashitaka is a great character. Definitely the Link stereotype all within him. So just a great character through and through great story fantastic movie man all right zach what about you uh fuck me in the ass and call me (laughs) sally man i don't fucking know princess mononoke is a 10 out of 10 it's a fucking perfect movie it's uh my second favorite um which one are we doing next which film are we doing next whatever you guys want to do um i I said we do house 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 movie castle yeah i haven't seen house in forever either yeah you guys saw the thumbnails i was making i was like oh i gotta do this I was literally just like, oh, yep, had a howl one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let's do howls next because I'm, I just love that film so much. I, I don't know what it is. It's just, oh, the food in that film looks fucking fantastic. Anyway, spirited I'm gonna, away. Shit, I almost became a pig watching that movie. Seriously, like, oh, it's something. Y'all, like, can you guys reel me into the world so I can eat some of that food? Just please? like, you know, yeah. let's do me into this world for a little bit because I'm I'm just ready to chow down. 
to be completely honest. But yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go nine out of ten for sure, just because I do agree with Leo with the ending. But like, it's it's so minor though that it's like I'll, I'll give it nine point five. I'll, I'll do nine point five just because. But Why not a ten? <sighs> Come on, guys, you gotta say it's the best. We're fucking ten out of ten. Come on. I'll, 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 okay, I'll, I'll do ten. I'm more. I'm very. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Stuff. For sure. I'm, I'll go nine sure. and a half at that <laughs> ending. I'm sorry. No, nah, come on. Let's do ten. Nine and a half. That ending was that that ten. ending, man. They messed my boy up now. Hey man. Fine. fine. Y'all know good and well they could have gave him a better ending. Press that for our fallen brother. <laughs> Ashitaka. Ashitaka. Man, I was she was just like, yeah, well, I'm just gonna live in the forest i can't like forgive. <laughs> i was like wait what you pulled a john snow <laughs> literally like you know nothing ashitaka <laughs> just walks away but ashitaka. yeah um let's uh wrap that up here i wanted to go around the uh, pod here let everyone know what's coming up on your channel um march is going to be huge um still yeah, haven't decided I'm when i'm going to release this probably real. on march 1st because we have our cherry cherry review coming out and I, I don't want like too many pods coming out. Like, you know, give, give me a little bit of breathing room for sure. So I'll probably launch this on March 1st, maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided. But w- what's coming up on your guys' channel either way? It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, Leo, you start. <laughs> so coming up, obviously, WandaVision yeah. tomorrow. Uh, Cherry next week. And then also Superman and Lois. I got a review coming up for that. And then, oh, Superman yeah, Lois, a couple yeah. other things here and there. I mean, I, I, I got a lot coming up, so yeah. I can't say too much because some things are under embargo. But yeah, yeah. A couple sure reviews, so. some some reactions as usual. I'm watching Stargirl right now, so mm-hmm. I'll be doing some reactions to that as well. And a okay. couple of first time watches coming up too. So okay. be on the lookout. Come on over to Geekly Goods over on YouTube. Yeah. All right, Zach, what about you? Uh, too much. Um, I'm I'm really nervous for March to be flat out honest. I with am you. too, dude. I'm, we have I so am, much, so because much. I have too much, dude. I have like so much planned, and that I think you guys like, are gonna have a way work because it's like I mean, you guys with the editing and every everything yeah, when it comes, it's just I'm, like making I'm sure. I'm not excited, and I start a new job March first, so like oh, I'm wow. not. Oh, so, congrats. Like, I, Thanks. I uh, thank you. I'm really excited because like my schedule will be set. So like, I think I'll have more time mm. like, because I'll be working from home too for like the first few months. So like, I think that helps, but definitely WandaVision reviews continuing winter soldier and Falcon coming up, a Snyder cut coming up, uh, mm-hmm. cherry coming up, Snyder Godzilla up. versus Kong coming up. Ray and um, the last dragon and Ryan the last dragon. Tom and Jerry, man. Yeah, invincible. Solar opposites. Hidden. Invincible. Shit, when does Invincible? Oh, that's like the end of March. Though, end of so March, okay yeah. Oh, I got Walking Dead. Um, oh, nice. I'm a major fan of The Walking Dead, mm. so I got AMC to hook it up with that. So that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Took me fucking forever. He put that gun uh, and he's like, listen, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> we're, not, um, we're not messing but, around. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, oh, and then uh, Coming to America, and uh, I did, I can't even think. Please. I'm sorry. <laughs> so listen here, Pat. I got some, some words to exchange. Oh, my fucking, God. Fucking Patricia. <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> but yeah, um, sorry. Go, go ahead. Sam. No, no, you're good. So I, I also got to see uh, the new Coming to America, so I'll definitely have oh, a review yeah, off right, of that did, soon. Yeah. And some press coverage from the the press conference, but I actually watched the first one for the first time. So I have a video for a first time watch of that coming out. That oh, first really? Week nice. Of March. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, um, my favorite line, guys. <laughs> Hello, neighbors. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you too. <laughs> Best moment in the movie. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Every day, I probably quote that. Every day, I quote that. Now, I walk into work. Hello, everybody. Fuck you. Fuck you too. <laughs> Fucking perfect. Perfect. That is hilarious. literally the best line in the whole entire movie. I mean, or the bait, the, do they not satisfy you? Are you I, <laughs> fucking, it has been so long great. since I've seen the first one. I need to rewatch so great. it. I the really 4k looks great. By the way, the 4k. Oh, looks okay, great. That's good. <laughs> All right. Oh shit. 
Oh, yeah, so uh, for us, we pretty much, you know, we'll be doing Howl's Moving Castle, of course, you know, the, the Studio G crew. Uh, we have our cherry review coming up on the 25th. I'm probably just going to honestly drop this out tomorrow. Just, I mean, it's, it's Fuck done. It. Why not? <laughs> it's done, so. Yeah. Dropping. Yeah. For, for, forget metrics, whatever. They're overrated. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so we have our um, cherry cherry review coming up, and of course, every week uh, we'll cover the news of the week and end on our Wanda Vision review. Very very excited for it. it's 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 coming to a close, guys. I'm I'm very. Uh... And they're saying it's going to be a tragic ending. Tiana Paris just talked about it. Like yeah. what? Yeah, it's I don't know, man. I'm I'm just I'm I already excited. Know. Let's be honest, Vision's get dying. Oh yeah, yeah. he's yeah oh, he's yeah. gonna be gone, gone for good this time. I mean, <laughs> we time. we kind of like got a little sneak peek of that when he was reaching out his hand in the yeah. last episode. I was like, well, brace yourselves, y'all. This is the <laughs> calm before the storm. You guys saw like the little uh, snippet that they put po- posted out yeah, in Good Morning America. I loved it. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, good. That that was, was awesome. good. I was like, at first I thought they're gonna do like The Office. I'm like, oh, that would have been pretty cool, but. Yeah. I think modern they did Modern Family because ABC, yeah. Disney. Yeah, it's got yeah, like it a Modern Family sense. Office mix vibes. Yeah. She's addressing yeah. the camera. But yeah. this is the last one. This is the last sitcom, pretty much. So. Oh, yeah, that's right. From that's what right. I understand. So. Yeah, because... Um... The next two episodes are supposed to be an hour long. You see, so okay. is this one going to be an hour? No, no, no. no. So this one's 30. <laughs> it leaked out how long the entire show is without episodes. Oh. So it's leaked out the entire with with credits and everything. So some guy did the math and he goes, Okay, it is thirty eight minutes this week. So he goes, Technically next week we'll either be we'll either get two hour episodes or an hour and like fifteen minute episode and then like this one being like thirty five, forty five minutes. Yeah. I knew that right you guys so. saw that like p- that picture that was going around. Yeah. It's like oh, three hours. I was like, Okay. No one has came out and said that at all. I'm like it could have been forty minutes this week. And yeah. then, like you just said, like two hours, hour and hour, whatever, how much it equivalent, um, equals up to. But I was like, I knew that thing was bogus. I'm like, if it's just like source Kevin Feige, you might as well just put, <laughs> dude, trust me. I'm like, eh, it's whatever. But Literally. Um, let's wrap up here for today. Uh, just wanted to, again, thank you guys so much for coming on to the pod. I really do enjoy having you guys on. You know, it's, it's, it's a good, good time for sure. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, friend. Hey, dude, thank you, awesome. man. It's always a blast to do this. Oh, yeah, for sure. And you know, if, if you guys are looking for some, you know, some some live some live stream uh guests, just just hit me up and I'll be there. <laughs> you know I got you, boy. <laughs> I'll Hell be yeah. there. So uh let's uh wrap this up. And that's a wrap for today, everyone. Thank you all for listening. And make sure to check out the other shows over on MusicCityDriving.com and subscribe to our show so you never miss an episode. That was Leo, Zach, and my name is Christian. And we'll see you guys in the next one.